Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal's Take on the Galaxy and we are going to continue the adventures of the Kerbal's in Stellaris and so far we've got three worlds, we've got two continental worlds and one Gaia world here uh, Kerbin, Dunia and Zila. I don't know, we might want to rename Zila uh, in the systems Kerbal, New Kerbal and Nikanda and our total territory looks, looks like this so, uh, quite, quite large. I mean, reasonably sized, let's say. We haven't gotten into any wars yet, as fitting Kerbals. And, uh, well, we really haven't gotten into too much trouble except for budgetary issues due to a shortage of energy credits. I checked out uh, what actually happens when you go to zero energy credits. It turns out what happens is you uh, get a 33% reduction in your mineral uh, mining and also a 33% reduction in your science so I think we probably actually could have weathered that without like destroying our fleet uh, the dismantling of our fleet and dismantling of many of our stations was probably not the best move to prevent to stem the loss of energy credits I don't know we would have to actually play that out to really find out let's see now I think we should start out by building up our fleet again because we seem to be woefully underpowered we've only got two ships here so let's go to Kerbin and we will build um, well let's say a destroyer actually that that should be pretty I mean, I think these are both yeah they're both corvettes so let's build a destroyer anyway um, let's see our construction ship is not doing anything so let us proceed by building more things. Let's build a mining station at Holly 3. We don't have a station around this one to capture that physics research either. Let's get another construction ship maybe. Because we have to reconstruct all of those all those stations that I destroyed. Let's have this station build it. Special project complete. Okay, so the crew of the KSP uh, Science Junior 13 has managed to collect a small group of Udlorians, uh, Udlorans from the ice surface of... Uh, again, it's messing up with the planet names. Uh, I don't know why that is. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the, the planet's snowfields at astonishing speeds. One animal was clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour. Hey, kilometers per hour. Hi, Lego. This aided in their detection since the passage of their rolling forms, uh, their rolling forms kicks up huge plumes of swirling snow. Okay, excellent. So we got another specimen and more societal research. And how is our research coming along? Well, we can certainly use it. Um, Asisa is busy with improbable ceramics here right now. But you can take a look, uh, research takes a while. So, yep, we are continuing on. Uh, this science ship is done. What else shall we do with it? Um, I saw an exclamation mark up there somewhere. Well, uh, th uh, we've already got that science ship uh, probing that exclamation mark at Valentine. Um, has this one been... That one hasn't been surveyed, but that probably means that there are bad guys there. I don't think I've ever sent anybody to this one. Let's let's have. Oh, uh, it has to go through this one first anyway. Survey that one first. Construction. Okay, so continuing on. What did I want? My okay. So we've got the science ship deployed. Now we've got this construction ship, and we want to rebuild our resource space. Um, there's six minerals there that we can tap. Maybe we should just go for science first, though. There's a lot of science in Sirma, so I'm going to build research stations there. Well, there's a little bit of science in Sirma, I should say. Now we have to watch our budget again. I don't want it to go below 8. Uh, plus 8, I mean. So that's our, our baseline level. Our borders are expanding. In fact, uh, I believe... Special project oh, complete. We have tried everything in order to find out about I find out how the ceramic pot ended up in a stellar orbit. Maybe we are all crazy. Maybe it does not even exist. Oh, it's that sort of situation. Guess what? We try calculating around those facts as well. We are done. There is nothing more we can do here. 
The only plus side to this is that we had tons of time to spend on philosophical and economical questions when we could not stomach to keep investigating that damned thing. Oh, I, I, I know what this is a reference to. Okay, well, we gained... Oh, wow! We gained 150 influence thanks to that. Embrace the futility of life's questions. Wow. Deep. Okay. Okay. The native life of Zila is built on an epic scale far larger than anyone previously thought was possible for biological life. The question now uh, on the minds of our researchers is, what is their secret and can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. Okay, uh, proceed with the study. Ensure that the research does no harm. Uh, well, we have a xenophile ethic. Okay, we'll go with our xenophile ethic and select that one. Situation log updated. So we are, we're continuing on with ocean world colonization probability. I think Surma is the one that had the tundra world that Aaronim wanted named after him, right? So we can do that now. So this is the planet Aaronim. There we go. Success! Anyway, um, Alright. We're getting low on the energy credits. Is there any other source of energy credits? Actually, uh, use sign ship, go to Vacradil. Build a research station there. Okay, so we have a station around Aaronim. And we can probably build something here, but is that the most worthwhile one? No, even Smyrma 3 would give us more resources. So let's have you build a mining station at Smyrma 3. We're getting into bad energy credit territory. Let's see if we can do something about that. We can't build any more of those nifty uh, power plants, the ones that use Metherian stone. Okay, this science ship isn't doing anything now. Okay, how about surveying that one then? I want to curve around here somehow. I want to sort of conquer this area, I think. But we need to find good worlds. This one is potentially habitable. Uh, this one is an ocean world, so once we get ocean colonization we can go there. Uh, then there's this one. This one's Arctic, and this one's Tropical. I think uh, that we'll have to wait longer on. I sort of like the idea of establishing a, uh, what you call it, outpost here to prevent their expansion in this direction. They're already imp... imp well, let, let, me, let me just go here first. And let me uh, send some fleets over, too, just in case they're bad guys. I feel like this is a place that we need to set up an outpost. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there are any bad guys here right now. There's Arctic, though. Arctic colonization. Hmm. Then again, if we could colonize it, we could just send a colony ship to take it directly instead of building an outpost. We will do that with this ocean world once we get that technology. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build that outpost here to prevent their incursion here. I want some buffer zone. Evading hostile fleet. What? Uh oh. Uh there are Void Cloud? Void Cloud. Bad guys. And this is Absaja Min. That's down here. But that's, a, that's an ocean world that we would like. Shoot. Okay, they're retreating. How strong System is that fleet? Complete. Ah, we can't see anymore. Alright, I'm gonna combine our fleets. Combine our fleets. Not that one. And let's go over there. Oh, uh, the star ha Oh, we have to survey it first. Oh, I didn't know we have to survey it first, and then... And only then can we uh, build our frontier outpost. Alright, survey system. But it's... It's almost within their, their empire now. So we gotta get going. 
Otherwise, we're gonna lose it. Okay, so 176 versus 133. But they're they're a void cloud. I don't know if they're really dangerous. What? Well, but our fleet needs a commander. Let's do that. As Lila Root said, uh, our commanders get deployed instantaneously. I don't really like the idea of attacking a Void Cloud myself, but we're not doing badly. Yeah, I think the Kerbal mod might actually prevent me from getting Steam achievements though. So that, that sucks a bit, but playing Kerbals is worth it. And actually I was at a disadvantage, my homeworld only has 9 tiles. You gotta get the achievements. Yeah, but my homeworld only has nine tiles. I don't see how... I mean, it's not like I had any benefit. Okay, so we completed Spaceport Level 4. New research. Uh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to click that like that. Uh, fusion Missiles. Oh man, that's so incredible. I know Engineering Facility 1 is good, but... Oh, uh, we, we'll quickly do Engineering Facility 1. Well, this one, he's got a specialty on. So maybe coil gun. Auto cannon would be good too. Okay, so we won that battle. Now we can send our science ship back in. Our construction ships are not doing anything, but I don't want to hurt our budget by creating more stations. It looks like there's a possibility of more science here. Ah, uh, they claimed it. Dang it. Oh, we, we gotta go to Palomar quickly. Shoot. Uh, here, you. Everybody, go to Palomar before they claim it. That's critical. That's got uh, that's got minerals. It's got it's got stuff. I mean, it's got the Batharian stone. Gotta remember that. Research complete. Okay, we can uh, colonize Ocean Worlds, so we can colonize Leaf now, but I'm gonna try and get this Tikkim first. Oh, maybe this, well, we'll get Tikkim first and then this one. Uh, we've got big colonization plans now, now that we can colonize Ocean Worlds. Um, colony ship. I'll uh, have the other, well, we'll hold off on the destroyer for now. Let's see, can Dunia take care of a destroyer? No, it can't do destroyers. Let's upgrade its spaceport. Anomaly found. Optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Absaja Min 3 that could be buildings. Well, research that. Now, this guy is moving into position to build that frontier outpost. Hopefully before they, those guys claim it. Okay, Society Technologies. Oops, that was one open. Uh, monthly influence. I'll take anything with more monthly influence. Yes. Uh, though, I guess we could learn how to clear mountain ranges eventually. But yeah. Um, more research alternatives. That'd be good. Subspace sensor. Survey speed quickening. That would be nice. Physics lab 2. Wow, that's good. Basic combat roles. Uh, fire rate, oh that's that's pretty good for our ships and that's a quick one so that that's the priority. Okay. Ooh, okay. Alright, so now that's building the frontier outposts very very slowly. We have a colony ship being built. That's gonna cost 8 energy credits but we should be fine on that this time. Extra alternatives are awesome, yeah. The silhouettes discernible from orbit are indeed buildings, and closer inspection reveals them to be an obvious, oh, oh, of an obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently on a galactic timescale, science officer Alcel Kerman believes that secrets of alien tactics may yet be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. A special project may be issued to study the remains. All right. Situation log updated. Well, let's study that. Alien uh, specimen procurement. We don't have border access to the remaining ones there. 
So that's that situation. We are doing the Titanic life monitoring. Uh, let's see, it looks like physics is the one that we need most right now, so I'll upgrade that. Maintenance costs more though. Okay, science officer Also Kerman's thorough exo uh, Zeno, sorry, Zeno historical analysis of the military installation on Amsaja Min 3 has yielded few tangible ah, few tangible results. The base was constructed before the planet turned completely barren, but it is unclear if it is current if its current inhospit inhospitability is the result of armed conflict or some more peaceful or even natural processes. What can be deduced of their strategies and tactics in armed conflict does not seem to have been far in advance of our own. On the upside, science officer Al Sol Kerman claims to have drawn much inspiration from the alien remnants. Uh, oh, she gains 150 experience and military theory trait. Well, unfortunately she's getting up in age, no offense Al Sol Kerman. Uh, so I hope she'll be alright. I mean, she's, she's already a 5 star, she's reached a max level, so they do have the same number of levels as Kerbals do. Uh, so yeah. How old is she? 57. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, uh, Al Sol Kerman, can you, uh, survey... No, come on. You survey that. Yeah. Titanic life monitoring is happening. And we've got our construction ship in Akmal. That's done building the research station there. Uh, it looks like a research station can be built in built in Reem. Lift to around 80. Sometimes less, yeah, sometimes less, sometimes more. Hopefully, she will not have an early demise. Though you know, Kerbals. We could build some uh, some more hydroponics or something around here. Uh, let me get hydroponics in one of them and then a basic power plant in another. To balance out the food situation. And uh, we'll, we'll do uh, a hydroponics here too. I think I need to build more ships, but we still are building a colony ship here. Zila needs a spaceport. But... Uh, well, projectile defense. Yeah, let's build a spaceport too. Construction complete. Uh oh. What? Oh, a negative balance. Well, that will happen once you build a colony ship because they cost uh, so much. Eight energy credits per turn per month. Okay, we'll send it over. Research complete. Okay, we have researched the coil gun. Okay, well, I'll take the ceramo metal armor then. Because he's got a plus 10% when dealing with materials. Hmm. Atmospheric readings from Essenth 1 do not match simulated projections. Okay, well, research that. I don't get why it's not proceeding with the Titanic life monitoring. Well, I don't know. It's still at 0%. I think uh, it's already researching that one. Yeah, it is. Let's see what happens. It's almost 100%. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Essenth 1's face. They are cast not by clouds but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Al Sel Kerman is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Okay, so that is progress. Ooh, we, we can definitely build a research station there. That's six, but it's not within our territory right now. But we can plan for that in a bit. Uh, what would be the closest? I mean, we could definitely get something from those two, probably, once uh, Alcel is done with Essenth. So let's get a construction ship in position there System to survey. prepare for that. Okay, till Lanesi civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of an alien civilization on Gra Avon. They appear to be in the early space age as evidenced by the many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. 
Their nation states are on the path toward joining together in a global government and it is likely only a matter of time before they venture beyond their world and join the galactic community. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Okay, yeah we should. So uh, that's, that's actually the other world here. Arid world. It's got rings. Okay, so we should definitely build stuff. And it looks like they have a space station? Okay. Uh, but that means that Alcel is done. Let's have her investigate Zoldar. I don't think we can build a research station outside of our territory, so we have to wait until that's in our territory to do that. Okay, so colony ship, I want you to colonize that planet. And I want you to colonize it. Well, that's a lot of food. Well, that's a lot of science there. Hmm, good science. Construction complete. Well, while the colony is being built, we'll have negative energy credits. That's just how it's going to be. Evading hostiles. Oh no, we've got hostiles up there. Okay, let's combine our fleets and go attack the hostiles. How bad are they? 178. We can deal with them. Okay, so uh, let's have our all of our forces amass in New Kerbal. I wonder if uh, the science ship can go straight to Jaffon without going through Zoldar. Because we need to investigate that one as well. Okay, we are establishing New Moho. It just picked that name. New Moho. So that's great. Okay, that's a good direction for it to go in. We need to reveal some other resources. Why not Legoland? I'll uh, tell you what, uh, we, we'll call Zila Legoland. I'm not really fond of the name uh, Zila, and it's a Gaia world, so that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Gene Kerman has leveled up. So, the next place to colonize will be this Absaja Min. Well, you wanted something named after you, right? We could, uh, potentially, if we could expand in this direction, we could get some energy credits from there. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, there's another hostile fleet. This is another hostile fleet in Jaffon. Shoot. Okay, I think our fleet's together, so let's proceed to attack the Void Clouds in Jaffon. So that we can survey that system. Uh, Kerbals are not naturally violent, but they do they do tend towards violence if you prevent them from doing science. This is what we've learned. Let us patiently watch the battle. It's saving game a lot. Well, it's a good thing that the ancient mining drones don't have a leader that gives them superpowers. Actually, our other admiral died because uh, she was fighting off pirates, and they did have a Kerbal leader. They were actually Kerbal pirates. Situation log updated. Well, Danlock Kerman's leveled up. Time project, I know about. Physics technologies, I didn't. Um, colony development speed would be nice. Red shard thrower would be nice. Cold fusion reactor. Hmm, cold fusion. Let's get this colony development speed though. Cold fusion is better. Well, psh, psh, but but uh, colony development speed will be done sooner. Situation log updated. Cold fusion takes longer. Batherian power plants. Well, that's that's pretty cheap. I could get this one. That that'll be only seven months. I'll get that one first then. Okay, so now our science ship should be safe. Uh, don't no, don't investigate that. First, survey the system. Then, I guess press shift and then research that project. Okay, so now it's got... I actually researched that project too. Okay, so now we've got all that queued and our fleet can proceed to the other system that we were supposed to clear out, Zoldar. We've got here embassy established. Dem diplomatic communication from Kagasi Star Nation. Okay. 
Vigasi Star Nation is here. Well, that's fine there. They're no immediate threat to us. Uh, we, we really don't have too much in... Well, we should uh, get some interest in Lyseria there. But we haven't really explored in here. Hmm. I, I'm still wondering whether I can get rid of the Frontier Outpost at Bacradil. Which will be more convenient. We've got one here, one here. Okay, we're encountering the enemy there. One here. Anomaly found. Sensors pick up rhythmic movement on the hellish surface of Jaffon 1. Worms. Anyway, uh, well, research that. And then one here. That's a lot of frontier outposts to deal with. At least the budget's balanced now. Let's take a look at New Moho again. Volcanoes. It's got toxic kelp. Fleet engaged. Okay, let's see. Fleet combat. There's a tougher opponent altogether. There's the Void Cloud again. Oh, we lost a Corvette just like that. At least we have two destroyers. Okay, we we had a tree that timed out. That's probably actually for the best. We got extra Vetherian stone thanks to that. The measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of immense and ge ancient geothermal extractors breathing their last. Built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of disintegrating machinery, disintegrating machinery, jeez. Uh, have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. So we gained 630 energy credits. Wow. Well, that's nice. Let's build another colony ship. I want to colonize like Lathe and all those other places. We've got places to colonize, is the point. I know we have a max co uh, directly controlled planets of five, but let's get to five. We only have the two destroyers left. Is there any point building corvettes anymore? Situation log updated. Research complete. Okay, research complete. New research. All right. Um, let's get the extra research. Ooh, hyperlane mapping. Is hyperlane mapping good? It's rare. Physics lab, red shard, mining laser. Let's see extra research alternatives then. But then physics lab is good too. So many things. Gene can do anything. Research speed plus 10%. Can we scrap ships for resources? Well, ships take a certain amount of upkeep, so you, you don't recoup any resources but at least you don't have to pay for their maintenance that way okay hold on a second nominally found all right let's do that okay uh colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once okay research that they might have been dinosaurs okay both of our science ships are busy Um, what is the one that Nakanda doing though? Oh, Titanic life monitoring. You know that Titanic life monitoring is taking forever. Uh, you go to the Zoldar survey system. I think it's like stuck on Titanic life monitoring. There's something wrong here. No, not there. I think it, uh, it was trying to Titanic life monitor and failed. Yeah, I think it was just sort of stuck doing some sort of weird loop. You survey that system now. Getting one extra chance of hitting the tech you wa want really makes a difference. Yeah, I agree. Seems like a good idea. Okay, we could build some more Bitharian stone thingamajigs. Maybe on new Moho that would be good. Build mining station there. 
you build a research station there. And we have a colony ship. So shall we colonize Lathor? No, I, I want to extend my empire. Let's get Absaja Min. That'll help connect our empire together. System, sir. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff to clear up here. Oh man. Toxic kelp, active volcanoes, dangerous wildlife. There's not much terrain we can actually use. And there's no food. Hmm. Okay, uh, uh, let's not go there. Uh, that's a dangerous place, and at least uh, we don't have too much incursion from the Philmal, Philmal, Philnal peoples. So let's try and colonize Lath, maybe, or Vacradil. Well, maybe we can colonize Vacradil so we can get rid of the frontier outpost. Um, let's see, sixty percent colonizable. Let's see. Um, doop. Colonize planet. Ooh, this has a lot of space. Much living space. Okay, yeah, let's colonize this place. Mm. Well, let's get a place with food, I guess. Okay. And then we can get rid of our frontier outpost here so that we can gain more, more influence. Okay, so now I need to build stuff to use Batharian stone, is what you're saying. Okay, well this needs to be upgraded. This could get four just on an upgrade. Maybe... Oh, but we can upgrade the... Batherian power... Oh, we can go Batherian power plant too. Let's, let's do that first. Mm, upgrade Batherian power plant too. Oh, we've already got two Batherian power plants here. So I'm just going to upgrade this one straight. And we'll just uh, upgrade the ones we've got straight too. But let's see what we can do at Legoland. Here at Legoland, we will build debris analyzed. No, uh, we'll replace with. Oh, we can't build one yet. Okay, we uh, wait, wait, Legoland. Um, we can build a planetary administration now, and then we will be able to build it. Then it'll be alright. Then we can also upgrade the hydroponics farms. Okay, negative balance because we are we have a colony ship that's gonna be colonizing, so that's standard. Research complete. Okay, let's see. We've got Galactic Administration plus one monthly influence. Empire Galactic uh, Empire Captic sorry. Empire Capital Complex and advanced government forms, but we can't build those on Kerbal because it's only got nine tiles. So that's a little bit annoying. Okay, uh, naval capacity increase. Uh, well, let's get clearing active volcanoes because it looks like that's something we really, really need. Okay, we got uh, possibility of extra physics and engineering research at Zaphon. Oh, we got that research. I'm not entirely clear about that. Okay, uh, leader has gained a level. Okay. Fleet order finished, still negative balance. Snedu. Okay, we need a new name for this colony. We're not gonna keep the name Snedu. Oh, I know. We'll name the planet with Jeb. Jeb. We, we, we need a planet Jeb. Yeah. In honor of Jeb Kerman. Sign ship there. Why don't you survey this Raprix? Yeah. Hopefully there aren't any hostiles there. And at Vacradil, I'm going to decommission our frontier outpost. I think. Well, let's wait until the colony's fully built. Not a frontier up. Oh, why why do we need a frontier outpost? We shouldn't need a frontier outpost. That's within our borders. Oh, it says it's not within our borders. Shoot. I thought Zoldar was in our borders. Okay, well, I'll build it at Zaphon 4A then. Should complete. Lies within the Serene Till Lenesi Confederacy. They claimed Essenth. No! No, they must not claim Essenth. They, that's got the Gra Avam people that we wanted to learn more about. I've set up an observational station there. 
And also, there's lots of signs there. Oh, I guess I guess that that is them. I guess the Serene Till Till and Essie are the people of Gra Avon. Is that right? I get. Yeah, I think so. So they they became full full on space peoples. We must we must talk to them and and convince them to join us. We've been very nice to you. Oh, they got a negative thing with us. Establish embassy. Look at them. Okay, uh, confirm. And, uh... Well, we obviously can't invite to an alliance right now. But alliances cost, anyway. I should... I want to be able to offer protectorate status. I've got more power, but uh, their attitude sucks. Kill them? No, but we were we were supposed to do science on them. We were supposed to science uh, uh, science them. Construction complete. It's not nice to kill them. the The only reason that uh, the Kerbals might attack them is because they've got a really long name that's hard to say. Okay, an abandoned ship has been left uh, to drift aimlessly above this planet. This is Sakis 3. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Wow, that's going to take a long time. Solar sails. Okay. Okay, society. Whoa. Alien pets. Xenology. I don't know what good alien pets do, but it's a strategic resource. We could do Manifest Destiny. That doesn't sound too nice. Can form federations out of an existing alliance. Well, alliances cost, though. Xenobiology allows... Uh, well, pets. They'll make great pets. Yeah, solar cells like the ancient Bajorans. Very good, Mitko. Yes. Border range? But pets! We must get Kerbal pets. Border range is really important. Arthur makes a good point. Fine, we'll go with the border range. Alright, fine. We should be responsible, Kerbals. 